Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a super fun video for a brand new series. It is called Dated Home Designs in Need of a Major Upgrade. I spend way too much time on Redfin, Zillow, and the MLS, and even though I am looking to upgrade my own current home, we're not moving anywhere anytime soon. But that doesn't mean I'm not house shopping almost every other day. I see so many amazing properties with really dated home designs, and I often think to myself, is that something that was intentional, or is that something that was just kind of left there because the homeowners didn't know what to do with it? I saw a lot of common design and decor mistakes that I wanted to share with you in case you needed a little bit more guidance and you wanted to be steered in the right direction. If there are a few design and home decor items in your home that you're looking to upgrade, this video is for you. Let's start with the number one dated home design in need of an upgrade, that ubiquitous clunky ceiling fan. I myself personally am not a fan of ceiling fans and for a variety of reasons. The first and foremost being that it's not the most auspicious item when it comes to feng shui. Feng Shui considers every single blade on a ceiling fan a poison arrow. So every single time that ceiling fan turns on and it circulates in your home, it's kind of jabbing poison arrows at you. Of course, this is just not realistic in those hot and humid climates for you to completely get rid of those clunky ceiling fans. But there are so many more modern and chic options for you to replace it with. You'll know you have an outdated clunky ceiling fan when it's punctuated by either a faux wood or maybe even real wood blade and a cluster of little dangling lights. The combination of the faux wood blades, maybe some decorative metal scrolls and elements, and the frosted shades just dates the look of your entire space. Look to replace the ceiling fan with a more modern version. I like blades that come in odd numbers. Threes and fives look great and really streamlined, especially paired with a single light source. You're looking for a solid blade color. It could be made of wood, plastic, or metal. Just think the less finishes, the more modern it looks. Moving on to the next item on my list, it is those metal scrolled furniture and home decor. You'll know it when you see it. Metal scrolled furniture can be seen in everything from dining chairs, to tables, to bar stools, even beds and chandeliers. The metal scrolled feature might look decorative to you, but to me, it almost looks as if the manufacturer was trying too hard to make a statement. For starters, it's not the easiest to clean, especially with all those little nooks and crannies that collect and gather dust. Secondly, it's so easy to snag clothing, especially when you're walking right across from it. Metal scrolls almost feel as though it's trying too hard to come up with a design without looking very streamlined, modern, or fresh at all. If you love metal decor and furniture, stay away from all the little curly cues and excessive ornamentation. Look for clean, simple, minimalist lines that feel classic and never outdated. This type of metal design will absolutely stand the test of time. The next dated home design in need of a major upgrade are those builder grade bathroom mirrors. How do you know if you have a builder grade bathroom mirror? It's really simple. It's right above your vanity and there are these little plastic brackets that hold the mirror to the wall. This is a builder grade decorative element that was installed to save the builder time and money. The mirror is such a focal point in the bathroom, so I feel like there's a lot of attention that needs to be paid to it. Even though the size helps expand the appearance of the bathroom, there are so many more stylish options you can go with. I love a framed mirror trimmed with really thin metal. This is a look that adds a little bit of contrast without trying too hard. 
You could also get a little fancier with your selection and coordinate the trim of the mirror to the trim of the lighting. You can also mix metals in the bathroom and have your faucet be one finish, the lighting another, and the framed mirror can either coordinate with the vanity lighting or your faucet. Make sure you check out my video, How to Mix Metals, for more bathroom lighting and mirror tips. While we're on the subject of lighting, let's talk about fluorescent light fixtures in the kitchen. Of course, one look at this type of lighting in the kitchen and you can bet that the homeowners did not elect to install this in their kitchen. This is another builder grade type of installation. It was installed simply for function. Of course, it lights up the entire kitchen with this hideous fluorescent lighting that no one looks good in. But the greatest benefit that you can take away from this hideous fluorescent lighting is that there is already a junction box and electrical wired to the ceiling. So the fix is really easy for you to swap this out with a really beautiful pendant or even a flush mount fixture that lights up the entire space. If your kitchen ceilings are a little bit low and you don't want to infringe on the height, you can also elect to install recessed LED can lights. The main idea is to combine a function with style. So if you have the space for it, look for a fabulous light fixture that will add some style and personality to your kitchen. The next dated home design in need of a major upgrade is painting every single wall in your home a different color. I'm pretty sure I know where you got this idea from. You're probably watching some random interior design show and they painted one wall some accent color and they complemented with another wall in another color. And although you know from this channel that I am not a huge fan of accent walls, I understand your love and need for color. But there are so many more creative and modern ways for you to inject color in your space without painting every single wall a different color. The first way to achieve a cohesive color palette is to create a mood board. Now what exactly are you putting on this mood board? The mood board can start with an inspiration. The inspiration could be a really colorful pattern rug. The inspiration could be a really beautiful piece of artwork. You can use these elements to define the color story of your entire space. Of course, you also want to balance that with the color of your furniture as well. So if you want really bright, bold colored walls, think about ways that you could desaturate the look with more neutral furnishings to allow the wall color to really stand out. And finally, we have the most offensive item that I consider on this list, that matchy, matchy furniture. We're talking about matchy, matchy bedroom sets, matchy, matchy dining sets, matchy, matchy living room sets. I've spoken on this topic in so many videos before, and if you are a longtime follower, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In the bedroom, it's either all white furniture, you've got your white headboard, your white dresser, the white nightstands. It even could be all black and espresso furniture. It could be that matching bedroom set with that huge honkin' sleigh bed and the wood scroll furniture. Overall, it's just a look that not only dates the space, but it makes it feel so one note. Oftentimes you'll write in and you'll tell me that the furniture was sold as a set and so you couldn't break it up. But here's a little tip. If that's the case with this particular vendor, then you're not shopping at the right stores.
Instead of purchasing a matching dining set that has the same wood legs with the same wood dining table, look to source the dining table first and mix it up with a variety of textures in your dining chairs. If the table is wood, think about upholstered dining chairs. If the table is glass, think about metal dining chairs. If the glass table has chrome legs, think about an upholstered dining chair with black legs instead. You can pull in different black accents with decorative elements like the bar stools nearby or even the pendant lamp that hangs from the ceiling. The goal here is to mix and match and change it up so there's more variety in your space. Same goes with a matchy-matchy living room set. There are only so many pieces that punctuate a living room. So when your sofa matches your love seat and matches that club chair, it often feels flat and not dynamic enough to add dimension to the space. Think about finding the perfect sofa or sectional first and adding in matching side or accent chairs if you really want a coordinated look. You can opt for one single statement chair or even a pair of coordinating side chairs. I love a living room that has a mix of textures as well. If you're going for leather on the sofa, think about linen on the side seats. A common feedback I get from a lot of viewers is that I show highly stylized interiors to reflect the examples that I'm talking about. And to me, that's what I'm inspired by. What I hope you gain from this video is real home dilemmas. These are real homes that I found on Redfin and Zillow. These homes don't appear to be staged. They really look like they were designed by the homeowners themselves. So I hope that you're able to implement these tips with style and ease. I love to end each section with what to replace these items with instead. You can shop all the looks in the description box and maybe even come up with some new items that you haven't thought of before. What did you think of my list? Did you agree? Did you disagree? Are there any other dated home items that you feel are in need of a major upgrade? I felt like this was such a fun video to make and I really want to develop an entire series out of it. And maybe in the future, get you to send in your own dated home designs for my feedback. Is that something that you'd be interested in? If you like this type of video and you're loving this dated home design content, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any ideas for this brand new series. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we roll out every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you all next week.